Now that is a view, but I'm not gonna reveal where it is and I'll explain why later on. But for now, I wanna talk about what's on my back. This here, because a few months ago, Red Paddle Co got in touch with me. They make paddle boards and they said, uh, Stephen, we'd like to send you one of our new compact paddle boards. They're lighter weight and they fold down much smaller than a standard size paddle board. And they also come with a fantastic backpack. The paddle board fits into, it's nice and padded, waist strap, chest strap, super comfy. You should be able to carry it long distances. So I thought, you know what, let's put their claims to the test. So I am heading about two miles up into these hills to a hidden lake to go for a paddle. And I sort of thought, why not stay? Why not camp for the night and use the paddle board as my bed? And I've got all my camping kit on this, um, this roll top waterproof bag on the front. And then I realized I wasn't gonna have enough space to fit in all of my camera equipment as well. So we've got Colin here. Hi Stephen. Colin is actually a highly skilled wheel builder and bike co, should look him up, um, who is currently neglecting all his clients he's <laughs> supposed to be building wheels for up in the hills. This look, so this location up here, it's quite a cool location. I got a tip off about it from someone who's a local, although they did say maybe don't really widely publicize exactly where it is. So we'll try and keep it vaguely secret, if that's okay with you. Ta-da! So this is my tent. I think I might be able to pitch this on the top of it. I'm gonna cable tie these back toggles here onto the D-links in the back of the board. I brought a ratchet strap and I figure because this is narrow, if I tighten the ratchet strap around that end, it's not going to move up any further, which means I can use it to put tension on this. <laughs> that like that. Oh, okay. Let's go off the sides a little bit, but maybe if I... Oh. Those are too long. Oh. Aha. Uh -huh. This is the strap that you wrap the, the board up in. There. That clip onto there. Colin, what do you think? Is this gonna work? I actually do. You have confidence in you, Stephen? <laughs> yeah, it looks really cool. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Let's see, can I get in here? <laughs> <laughs> this is going to work. Oh, I just had a terrible idea. What? I just had a really, really bad idea. <laughs> Let's see if we can bring out in the water. <laughs> well, if you're going to be doing something stupid, you might as well... Do... Oh, <laughs> lost my glasses. You might as well do something stupid safely. I've got uh, this tethering system that I prepared earlier. There we go. That should hold. Right, I'm gonna try and get into this without getting wet. This thing on on <laughs> on stable ground. <laughs> I've just realised something. If I soak this, where am I gonna to sleep tonight? That's a very good point. Okay, I missed. Oh! <laughs> oh. oh my goodness. <laughs> I'm immediately regretting this decision. Uh, don't leave it alone. <laughs> can I? Can I like? Oh! <laughs> Incoming! This has got to be the most relaxed and terrified I've ever been inside a tent at the same time. <laughs> there we go. Have you had any really bad ideas that you've tried to execute on recently? Whee! <laughs> this is so sketchy. 
Um, it seems you've got quite a lot of water on the tent. Are you tipping? No. What? Don't. <laughs> so I want to point out right now that um, I will absolutely not be attempting to sleep in this. Can you imagine what would happen if I drifted out with this zipped up and this tip during the night? I would be trapped upside down, essentially in a plastic bag. That would not be good. I'm also not gonna like take it out into the deep water because that would also be incredibly stupid. If this thing tipped upside down, this could go sideways very, very quickly. So uh, yeah, I'm in about six inches of water. I'm not going any further, but yeah, it works. Right, next challenge. Can I get out of here without getting wet? I made the mistake of not putting on my spare clothes. So I'm going to try and get back. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go out and get like a run up and hit that as hard as I can. Here we go. <laughs> I feel like a sea lion. Oh no, there's a massive puddle here. <laughs> this is one of the more pathetic things I've seen in my life. <laughs> I'm physically exhausted. I could help, but. Oh. <laughs> Apparently, a wet paddle board is slippy. Oh. Yes! <laughs> Things in this water. <laughs> things that are floating past and uh, try not. Uh, look, 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 there's one there. Look. <laughs> right, I'm now starting to get cold. Look at my cat, I can get my, uh, get my change robe on. Uh, I've just remembered I don't have a sleeping bag, so I can't wet the change robe too much. Colin, what are you doing? I'm getting my step count up. I have to hit my target, I can't lose my streak. I don't think it counts if you walk on the spot. It does, they're still burning calories. Still burning <laughs> calories. You're not going anywhere, I don't think. I don't think steps should count unless you're actually going somewhere. Did you get that all right? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. What, what was it like a warm breeze? Is it called a zephyr? I have no idea. This is a really hot chili pepper song. I think it's a song about a hot warm breeze. I could be completely wrong. I could just Google what, what a zephyr is. Why are we talking about that? Oh yes, because it got warmer all of a sudden. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's definitely a warm breeze. It's come from that direction. Um, bars, bars. <laughs> Well, this will be interesting. That's me in for the night. Can I actually sleep in a paddleboard? I guess I'm about to find out.
Well. I slept both better and worse than expected. <laughs> I actually did sleep, but um, in hindsight, I probably should have brought something to keep my legs warm. <laughs> um, and then I kind of got like cold, cold shins. So it, it mostly worked. The paddle board as a, as a mat to sleep on, yeah, kind of worked as well. Definitely wasn't as comfortable as an actual an actual camping sleeping mat. Oh, there's a lumpy bit in the middle. <laughs> Even when sort of deflated to make it uh, softer, but yeah, I still slept on it. Uh. Into the weeds. Oh, this is weird. Woo! <laughs> uh, I could just fall asleep here and I'd probably fall into the, the water and have a terrible ending. Oh, I seem to have stopped drifting. Well, that's because I've laid down. The wind can't catch me as much. Right, I think I should just remain here. Yeah, so last night, I don't know if you heard that bird sound there, but those birds made that sound the entire night. <laughs> All up and down the reed bed. Just this... and of course, I forgot my eye mask and my earplugs. Because um, I was trying to like bring as little as little stuff as possible with me. But yeah, this has been fun. It is 7.30 a.m. It's already 17 degrees Celsius up here. It is officially a heat wave in Northern Ireland. Uh, so I'm glad to be getting off these hills before it gets any, any warmer. We've cleared up, left the place. Uh, slightly more spotless actually than we found it. Um, and just in case you're one asking the obvious question, why didn't we just stay at the Bothy? Two reasons. One, it's a tip inside. There's bottles and cans everywhere. And two, we carried tents all the way up here. <laughs> We're gonna use, gotta use them. Right, hope you enjoyed this um, paddleboard slash camping, camping uh, ad ad adventure. Let me know if, uh, if you did. And let, let you know what you think Colin's performance was. He shot some of the footage. So if you think the footage is rubbish, let me know. <laughs> There's a good <laughs> chance. <laughs> I'll fire him. Right, you ready to go? Yes. Right. Onwards. Bye bye. <laughs>
just realized you're gonna get a terrible angle on me. <laughs> Here. Oh, oh I just got a med. Don't move. I'm not moving. Oh yeah, there we go. I think it doesn't happen.